guys and welcome to Chutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through the Omenta. There are two types of Omenta that I'm going to go through today. The Greater Omentum and the Lesser Omentum. So an Omentum is basically a fold of peritoneum which connects the abdominal organs together. The greater omentum is a double fold, while the lesser omentum is a single fold. The greater omentum is attached to the greater curvature of the stomach. And the first part of the duodenum. And it's also attached to the posterior transverse mesocolon. is continuous with the gastrosplenic ligament, which is a ligament connecting the stomach and the spleen. The lesser omentum is attached to the lesser curvature of the stomach. first part of the duodenum and to the posterior liver. Okay, let's draw a picture so we can have a look at the greater omentum and the lesser omentum. So here is my stomach. And it, the first part of my duodenum is here. The greater omentum is attached to the greater curvature of the stomach. And the first part of the duodenum. From here to here is what's known as the gastrosplenic ligament. Because your spleen is just here and it's attaching to the spleen. Move on to the lesser omentum now. This is attached to the lesser curvature of the stomach and the first part of the duodenum. And it's attaching to the posterior part of the liver. So here's the liver here. And it's going to the posterior part of the liver. So down here, greater omentum. Here, lesser momentum. Okay, let's draw a transverse section now so we are able to see that fold of the greater momentum. The lesser momentum attaching from the posterior part of the liver to the lesser curvature of the stomach. The greater omentum 
is attaching to the greater curvature of the stomach and the posterior part of the transverse colon. It creates this space. And this space is what is known as the lesser sac or the omental bursa. Here at the free edge of the lesser omentum is a passageway and this is called the epiploic foramen. The rest of the peritoneal cavity is known as the greater sac. The purpose of the lesser sac is to allow expansion of the stomach. The epiploic foramen allows for connection of greater sac and lesser sac. And that about wraps it up for the Amenta. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you come back and learn more about the human body. Thanks and I'll see you soon.